Okay. So I did not expect this plan to work out at all. My whole thing, every single plot that I've had to get to Final Tribal has been utterly destroyed. I wanted to go with Robbie. I wanted to go with Caitlyn. I wanted to go with Benji. I wanted to go with Hazel. All blown out of the water. But now I'm here. But it's with Gribble. So, like, my chances of winning are significantly lower than I want them to be. But I still think I can do it. Because Gribble's done absolutely nothing. He's won challenges. It's the only thing he's done. And I basically convinced him he wanted to take Brock for, like, moral reasons or whatever. But that wasn't going to happen. He wants to win. And maybe he'll win against me. Maybe not. Who knows? I think the jury will respect how I played the game. And I'm going to articulate it very well at Final Travel Council. So, I just can't believe this insanity. After that Hazel vote out, I thought, I'm done. Like, I couldn't, I can't believe that I still have a chance to win this game. Um, it's just been so great, and now I'm finally at a final tribal council that I can view as legitimate, because the other times I've been there, it wasn't legitimate at all. Um, anyway, I think Gribble's going to be some tough competition. I don't know how the jury's feeling, obviously, because I haven't been talking to them, but I think they will respect how I used my strategy of not being the biggest target throughout the whole game to not draw votes to me at any time, like if stuff went wrong, and stuff did go wrong, so I did the right thing, and that is a pretty good strategy, and I'm not saying that I'm perfect, I voted incorrectly, like 50% of the time, basically. Um, my pre-merge was great. My pre-swap was great. My swap was not ideal, but I survived it, which su surviving a swap is... Who cares? Like, no one's going to base their jury vote off of that. Um, then the merge. Ooh, I'm pretty confident my merge play is better than Gribble's, because I think Gribble, really with that self-vote that he did, and all that that was going on with him, like delaying the vote several hours and delaying challenges several hours all the time, I can make the case that he wasn't as invested in the game as I am. And really, the jury doesn't respect people because they want to be sitting there in Final Tribal, and if they're if the person sitting at Final Travel Council is not as invested as they would be at Final Travel Council, then that really pisses off the jury. And I know I've been invested in this game. I just don't know who's going to be my main support because I really think it could be very split. There are nine jurors. I need to win five of them. If I can do that, then I've got this in the bag. I think I can get Robbie, for sure, because he's just not going to vote for Lagoa because he's bitter. I think I can get Bowie because he's like, I, I really don't know what he's feeling, but I have a feeling that he'd vote with me regardless because we are allies. On the other hand, he could not respect me because I did not play a physical game like he would have, but I'm pretty sure that he'd ultimately give the vote to me. Then I don't think I'm going to get Axe's vote for sure. I think I could sway Hazel. I'm pretty sure. And I think I have Brock. His whole thing about having an open mind. I really don't know if that's true. I think he's going to vote for me. Because I would have voted for him, for sure. Um... That just leaves me with one, maybe two, or Caitlyn. And there's swings. Brady's probably not going to vote for me. 
Um, I don't think Benji will either. Maybe he won't talk like at all. Uh, so I think it's going to be either close or a blowout with Florida, no matter how you look at it. But I think I still have a good chance. Uh, I'm just so excited. There's, this has been 40 days. Like, this has taken up so much of my time. And now I finally get to see the results of this. So it's just so exciting. Like, I didn't think I would even get on the season. And now I'm at Final Trouble Council. So, like, how's that sound? Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was, um, person added when that dude dropped at the beginning so I, I view it as like hilarious like the production ranks the applications and it's like oh one's here and I'm like 23 basically because people like dropped and stuff and I just slayed everyone throughout the list now I'm in the top two and I just find that funny <laughs> must be frustrating for production because they probably didn't think I'd be as good as I was or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't good at all. Maybe I'm too overconfident. I don't know what the outside of the game looks like. I could be this massive goat. I could be someone everyone hates. But I find that hard to believe. I think I'd be at least liked by some people. Um. Yeah, Gregor has just been frustrating. Like, not talking to me and then saying he might vote me out, which is a legit dumb move like Brock is winning this game no matter who he goes up against like everyone on the jury loves him and even the people who don't like respect the game he's played and Gribble knows that so I was just like excuse me like what why would you even consider voting me out because you just stand such a better chance against me and then we're gonna get to travel council He's going to realize that maybe I'm not a goat after all. I really think that I can pull this off. I want to go in there optimistic. So I have a positive mindset. And if I get slammed by the jury, so be it. But that's just how I'm going to hold myself throughout Final Travel Council. I'm going to be truthful. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be positive uh, because I want to, I want the jury to know what I've done throughout the game. It, can, it might be hard to see for at first glance what I've done, but I've done quite a lot. Like, it wasn't just Brock telling me what to do the entire time. We did everything together. And I was a swing a lot of the time, or at least a couple of times. Um... And I really think I organized a bunch of majorities. Even if they didn't all work out the way I planned them, I was always doing something. I never stopped. I never gave up. Uh, Gribble seems like he gave up at some points. And I can point out where that happened and make an argument that he didn't care about the game. He gave up here. And a lot of the time, juries respect social gameplay over physical gameplay. And I'm, like, the opposite of a physical game player. I'm totally awful at the challenges. I suck at them. But I can be a really good strategic asset to have on my side. And socially, I'm getting better and better all the time. So I really think I have the bonds. I didn't really betray a lot of people either. You could say I betrayed Brady. I betrayed Toon. I betrayed... Really betrayed Benji, betrayed Axel. He also betrayed me at the same time, though. Uh, I didn't betray Caitlin. Um, and Hazel and I betrayed each other at the same time. So it either cancels out or I didn't do anything. So I think my relationship with the jury is pretty solid. It's not like I've been actively making jury members mad at me. So. Unlike Gribble, who actively makes Hazel mad at him. Um, and I know Brock's pretty mad at Gribble. I don't know about Axel. I think Axel will just excuse that and vote for Gribble anyway. Um, 
yeah. So those are just my initial thoughts on going into the, the final tribal council. I'm very, very, very ecstatic because this is just the most exciting point in the game. And I finally reached this point. Why was this game so long? I started another game after this one, and I'm on the jury, and it's ending now at the same time. Even a little before, like, this is taking so long, and I just want it to end so I can see my magic, see, like, the episode recaps or whatever. So that's, I, I really care about stuff like that, and I want to see what the spectators thought of me. I want to control F my name and like look at what everybody said about me and spend like five hours looking at that. That's what I like to do. I just feel like I'm happy with the game I played and I'm happy the game is over because I don't think I could spend one more second on the beach. That's why I set it on fire. <laughs> There's really nothing else to say because it's just fun travel council answer the questions, blah, 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 say why I deserve to win. No holds barred. I'm going to, like, attack Ribble if I see him do something. Like, if if he's lying, I'm going to call him out. Uh, if he's not worthy of the win, I'm going to say that, and the jury's going to know. So I really think I stand a good chance, and if this clip is played back to me, and I get nine zeroed say la vie like whatever but i really think i have a really good chance a better chance than i thought i would have against scribble like i have a really good case and i'm pretty sure i can argue it uh yeah so that's the end of my time